What's up, brothers and sisters? You know it is. Eddie from 802 Diesel Crew. Down in my comments section, I've seen you guys wanting a little review on my tool vault that I've had for about three years now. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So overall, the outward appearance has a high gloss lime green uh, powder coat that's held up pretty well. There are a couple little spots that have gotten uh, dinged up. They're really hard to see, probably from uh, maybe my belt or something else like that. And uh, there's a couple little scrapes that have occurred on the actual handles down in here, just from general use. I mean, you're gonna have that with any toolbox, but uh, the, the outward paint and powder coat, whichever you wanna call it, um, has held up very good. So I guess we'll get into kind of the cons first and we'll end, end with the uh, positives. Always read that is the way you're supposed to do things. Um, first off, I don't really like the top. It's, I mean, it looks cool, it's functional, but it's, I, I, I wish it was a lot thicker, I guess. Uh, down in here, it's hard to tell, but I do have some pretty good um, dents. And that's kind of why I have these uh, gun breakdown mats now, um, especially where my breaker bars were because there was a point in time that I wasn't really washing and one had fallen down and put a pretty good dent in the top. I say that and the only one I can really find right now that I can show you guys is that little guy right there. But overall the top, I mean, here at work we have big uh, tool benches that we're, we can use. So this is more like a working surface for paperwork. Um, it's kind of more like my mini office more than anything else. I have built some uh, hydraulic valve blocks and things over here. Um, but overall, you know, it's, it's used more as like a <laughs> quote unquote uh, cubicle for doing uh, paperwork and whatnot. I guess next up would be the, the drawer slides. They're very, very strong. You can see them here. There's uh, two for the big drawers and the smaller drawers only have one. Oh, and there's an issue in itself. Just opening that top drawer, the <laughs> two drawers or three drawers down from it decided to open up. So that's, we'll get into that in a minute. As you can see, this is about as far as the drawer wants to open up, but it's got about another inch that it can go. And that's one of my other pet peeves. This drawer is loaded down, don't get me wrong, but it will open up. So it's totally flush, which is a positive too if it works, but you really have to pull on it. We'll pull up past flush on the actual toolbox. So what I've started to do is just lightly grease these, you know, once a month and uh, getting, <laughs> getting onto that cycle where I, sh I probably should do it again shortly here. But uh, that's just, I think that's just kind of the upkeep and I probably have you know close to that 500 uh, pound foot mark in this drawer by itself. Last con is basically it has to do with the drawer system. Um, there's no, you know, there's no slide or handle here for some uh, like the Master Series, which the newer, newer version of the tool bolts have like a Master Series and you pull back here and it kind of locks and unlocks it. Um, these are on detents. So the back of the drawer basically has like a plastic insert. And when you push it all the way shut, it kind of locks itself in, which I've seen in the past. If I don't have the drawers completely shut, like this one right here, maybe if we just loosen this, loosely put that one right there, not on the detent. And then we kind of, and this is kind of abusing the box, but push it hard. Oh, it's not gonna do it now. But sometimes that, you know, a drawer, if it's not all the way pushed in, will open up. So some of the specs of it, uh, shipped weight is 1,420 pounds. Actual weight is 1,220. Uh, the height of it is 72 and 5 eighths. The width is 72 and 15 sixteenths. And the depth from corner to corner on the outside is 30 inches. So the actual depth is about 26 and 5 eighths deep. Um, the drawers are pr uh, you know, plenty strong. Over here I have a full set of grip. Uh, I think they're 50 down to 34 millimeter. And then one and three eighths up to two inch. And uh, you know, these, drawer these drawers handle it just fine. The top three uh, long drawers up here all have kind of like a gusset on the bottom of it. 
has like a rail all the way down for extra stability and uh, non-twisting of the drawers and it works absolutely great i mean you can see how easily these drawers roll back in anyways now the outer shell is made of a uh, 18 gauge steel the drawers are made of a uh, 20 gauge steel they feel nice and rugged the caster channels or what the caster sit on is made of like a 14 gauge steel uh storage in here is uh, 13,437 uh, square inches or a total of 95,999 cubic inches. So there is a lot of uh, uh, realty to be taken in this thing. Now for some of the things that I like. I really enjoy that this has kind of like a, it might look cheaper, but it has kind of a cork board back to it. Um, as you can see up here, I've put some lights in it. And I made some baffles for them so they're not, you know, all up in your face. I've added some work tool clips here to keep all my longer breaker bars up there so they're not taking a drawer up. Added a nice long power bar, which I'll never use all those uh, power outlets. Um, and then it just has plenty of room up here for manuals, uh, miscellaneous things. You know, sometimes I'll put parts up there that um, I need to return. And then there's a plenty of workspace to do what you need to do. It does have a slide down top that uh, you can totally lock this thing up and it's pretty secure. Um, the box comes with two sets of keys. And then a customer service at uh, strictlytoolboxes.com, next to none. Um, I had a couple questions and concerns. Uh, they got right back to me uh, through the phone. So I was talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't through like the you know, email or whatever, which is fine, but you lose a lot of that. Sometimes I lose confidence in that because there's no, you're not talking to an actual person. You're not getting that, that warm and fuzzy feeling from, you know, spending almost $4,000 on a toolbox and having it shipped up from Florida. I enjoy the depth and strength of these drawers. Um, there's not much to say about that. There's a lot of weight in there. And for a cheap Chinese box, you know, it holds up really well. All the drawers do. You know, they slide out relatively easy. Um, the only thing, like I said before, is sometimes you have to pull a little bit harder to reset them. Oh, see right there, it's starting to creep out a little bit. I <laughs> just did that. Um, another thing is the casters on this. Very stout casters. Uh, the ones on the front and the rear can swivel. The one in the middle is fixed. So basically you can take this thing in its length and make it do 360s. It moves really easy. Uh, right now I have it loaded down pretty, pretty heavy. So um, usually it takes two people just because of the weight, but it moves, you know, pretty easy. On either side, it has these uh, rather large handles. Yeah, it kind of looks like an epic handle or a master series handle. One side I keep all my rigging slings and the other is just kind of in between these Vidmars in the box. Um, so it doesn't really serve any purpose at this point. And you know, the best part is the box is held up for $4,000. Whereas if you're trying to get into like a snap on Maco, um, any other brand, you're talking triple that without a hutch. Um, so for the money, can't beat it. If something goes wrong with the slides, that's fine. You can order new slides from, uh, the dealer. Um, aside from that, I don't see... The metal fatiguing or failing, I mean, it's it's built just as good as like a Mac 04S or something of that same caliber. It's just as thick, heavier, and just as well built. I have had no problems moving this thing around the shop. Nothing's cracked, creaked, or done anything. Um, so yeah, I give it, for $4,000, I give it four thumbs up. So I hope you liked that quick little review. Um, you know, stay tuned for more content. Uh, they'll probably get better with my practice. Um, it's not as easy as it seems trying to go through and talk about things when you're just talking to a screen and there's nobody else here. Uh, so stay tuned for more content. Uh, probably doing a toolbox tour. Um, probably not as in depth because I haven't gotten a whole lot of new stuff, but we'll kind of just go through the drawers real quickly and check that out. So have a great day and check you guys later. Quick little bonus feature here. Oh, let me get in the right drawer. If somebody can tell me what these are for, these things are sweet.
Here's the brand. Since I had this drawer open, bonus points to whoever can tell me what these two little contraptions are for.